In this tutorial, we will demonstrate how to get started with the Xlight Softphone software. This can also apply to the Bria app on iPhone or Android. But this particular tutorial will cover Xlight, which is very similar on the Mac as well. To get started, log in to Weblink under freedomvoice.com by clicking on the login button in the top right or freedomiq.com. Once you're logged in to the online control panel, what we want to do first is download the Xlight software. This is found under the support and download section. Once we go to downloads, if we scroll down, we will see the link for Counterpath Xlight 4.0 and we can download it. We can also download the configuration manual. Once we've downloaded it and installed the software, we need to create an activation for the Xlight. There are actually two different ways you can use Xlight or any soft phone. Any activated extension on the Freedom IQ account can be twinned to an exact duplicate on a soft phone for free. If you wish to have a standalone soft phone with its own phone number, then you would have to do an activation. Let's get started with the activation. If we go mouse over settings and under phones, we want to click activate. We will go ahead and choose an unsupported model by clicking the show unsupported button. And we will choose counterpath. And then under model, we will go ahead and choose Xlite and mine is 4.0. We will put in the MAC address of our laptop or device that we are using for this. So, okay. Once we have that entered, we can click Next. And we can choose a DID on our account, or we can do a new number search. I'll just go ahead and choose an existing number on my account. It's asking us if we want to add trunk lines. We'll just go ahead and skip past this. We will assign this to a user. And now we do have to put in E911 information. I will confirm the activation. and our phone is now activated. I'm going to go ahead and just copy this phone number because I'm going to be using it and pasting it into the Xlight application here in just a minute. Now, the Xlight application will also require a password and a registration URL. So what I'm going to do next is I'll show you where to find the password. Now, if we have activated this under the Xlight or Bria app, we can find the password in Weblink. If it is activated under a Polycom phone, we need to uh, create a case for support to give us the password. And we could do the case for support under the support tab and then ticketing. Or if we activate the Bria or Xlight app, we can find the password listed under support and then diagnose phones. So if I select Diagnose Phones, I simply come in here and choose the Xlight that I have just activated. And I want to click on the Diagnose button in the right column. Now I can see the details about my soft phone activation and the password is listed here. So the next thing I'll do is go ahead and, and fire up the Xlight software. So this is what it looks like. It's telling me the account is not enabled. Go to the account settings. So I'll go ahead and click on account settings. I can name this whatever I want. I'll go ahead and use the phone number for the name of the account. Now I can skip down here to user ID and that will also be the phone number. The domain will be setup.hostedipbx.com. So S-E-T-U-P dot H-O-S-T-E-D-I-P-B-X dot com. 
And now I can go back here for my password. We'll copy that. Bring Xlight back up and paste in the password. Now I'm going to go ahead and copy my phone number again here. And I will also use that as the display name. Or I can type anything in here I want to. I could put my, my personal name in here as well. And when I'm calling another Freedom IQ extension, it would show that. The authorization name will also be my phone number. I want to make sure it's checked to register with the domain. And at this point, I should be able to hit OK. And now we can see it says account enabled and it is ready. So we'll go ahead and hit the keypad here. Dial a phone number, click call. And we should be able to get a call. Failed to establish. Now it's not actually letting me call currently, even though the account is enabled and active. It's because of the firewall that I'm behind on this particular Wi Fi account. So I've had. Uh, did reconnect here and now I do have a call established and active. That's all there is to it. Now if we do have an existing phone that we want to use, if we were to go to support diagnose phones and let's say it's a, a polycom phone such as this, we can go here, we can get the information but we'll see that there is no password listed. So we do have to open a case with customer care by going to ticketing and clicking create new case and we would just reference the actual MAC address and DID of the phone that we want to twin to a soft phone and we would include that in our in our new ticket that concludes the configuration of the soft phone thanks for watching